music is one of the most important parts of a photo shoot. If the, if the music isn't just right, everybody's kind of, you know, music makes you move your body. What would you say is your most comfortable musical genre? What, what's in your wheelhouse, would you say? I'd say rock music. You know, any, any derivative of rock music is probably my most comfortable. You two or Pearl Jam? Pearl Jam. First concert you ever went to? Slayer and Pantera. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. That's so good. <laughs> That's um, true. So and Corey brings a lot of rock to, to the songs, which is great because I don't have that. Who's the best drummer of all time? Keith Moon, John Bonham, or Neil Peart? John Bonham. All right. He hit hard, didn't he? Oof. Soul, man. What was that? When you remember? Favorite kind of music? Rock and roll. Next question. What's that? Um, I love Jim D. Rose. I love I love that. The opening act for any band, who would it be? Ooh, that's a hard question. Oh, right now? Uh, Jimmy Eat World. Bands I listened to growing up. Well, the first album I ever owned was Metallica, the Black Album. And that was, that's amazing. That's, that was my first journey into music. I just met my favorite band. Yeah. Master on, standing right behind you. I like 80s rock. I like 80s rock. 80s rock. Like 80s rock. Heavy rock. Like rock 80s rock. rock ballads. Sorry for me to admit, but my mom loved Madonna and Dr. Hook and uh, Air Supply. If someone wants to take a peek at your music collection, what would you consider the most embarrassing, but you still love it anyway? <laughs> That's good. Kesha? Really? Yes. Yeah, I, like <laughs> I do like Kesha. Don't tell anybody. <laughs> Somebody steals your iPod, finds your iPod, and then realizes because it's inscribed on the back to Corey Monteith with love from whomever. Yes. Um, what's the one song in there that you'd be horrified that they know is on your iPod? Oh, um, Miley Cyrus or something. Nice. <laughs> Do you sing along? Is that the song in the shower? Yeah, I say it quietly so you guys didn't hear it. <laughs> if you didn't hear it, it was Miley Cyrus. Um, <laughs> So I just it's really good pop music, okay? I mean it's like whatever, you know. Carpet, when you screw that. Awesome. What's the full for, the first full song that you learned to play on your instrument? Uh I don't remember the song because I was playing along to Elton John on okay. <laughs> seriously <laughs> on practice pads. So it wasn't even a real drum set, it was like those thin plastic, <laughs> you know what I mean? And I was like, eight or something, yeah. I don't remember what song it was. <laughs> Band. I'm I'm very excited to see Snoop Dogg because I I I love Snoop Dogg. I think he's awesome. As far as rock music is concerned, yeah. what's on there? Right, the good band, grim band called The Chariot. I don't know if that's metal or if it's rock, but they're great. Um, my friends Tegan and Sarah from Vancouver, from uh, well from Canada. Um, Radiohead. I'm, I've been a huge Radiohead fan since uh, I've seen them probably seven or eight times. Uh, so all all different places, and they they will remain one of my favorite bands. What do you think? What's who would you who would you have like a who would, who would be like a dream tour, like alive or dead? Any artist you'd like you'd love to tour with? <clears throat> and die to share a stage with? Yes, like you. That's totally radio. Oh. If you could replace any lead singer in a current band right now? Would it be Tom York? Or... Mm, not Tom York, no, not me. Uh, although he's one, brilliant, but uh, it would be... Uh, probably Brandon and Incubus, that'd be a good one. That'd be great. Um, he played on stage with Mike Reno from Loverboy, man. I know, uh, that was incredible. You were a drummer for Loverboy for a minute. <laughs> 
I know. It was amazing. And do you have any songs that uh, you really like on the radio right now that you'd love to hear on the show in the future? You know that song, That's Not My Name, by the Ting Ting Ting? Yeah, I love that song. Yeah, whenever I hear that song, I can't get it out of my head. I know it's kind of old now. You know, I, I think that you guys could still, you could put a fresh spin on it, I believe it. songs you'd love to do to cover for the show? Oh, wow. Um, I like so many different kinds of music. What, what would be a good song to do? I would like to do, I would like to do anything by Air Supply. Good one. Because, oh no, honestly, it would be really good for my character. Finn is, he does well with the uh, rock songs in the soft classic mode. Do any song, what would it be? Wow, I don't know. I keep saying Sticks. Uh, but I'm going to say Air Supply. So um, you're an 80s rocker fan. Well, I think, I don't know, I think there's something so fantastically horrible about that music. It's just, it's so entertaining to watch people sing it, doing, yeah. doing karaoke. You know, true. I'm all out of love. Like, how that doesn't get old. No, it doesn't. It's majestic in its awfulness. Exactly. Yes, you get it. She gets it. Yeah. yeah. But that Billy Joel idea is pretty good. Yeah, Billy Joel's great. Yeah. Exactly. So how does Brian Adams exactly. not listen to you? Who and knows? I was just like, man. You know what the perfect because we we had to figure out like the, a ballad for Finn and he, so I kept suggesting I, I kept dropping that line I'm like yeah. I think I need to do for you like Brian Adams Brian Adams I'm in because we're mm -hmm. Canadian brothers and I was just like I was just like what's he how's he gonna say no he said no from Robin Hood he said no he said no. Mm -hmm. I'd say Kesha? I want to know what love is by Foreigner. Yeah. Nice. Foreigner, I want to know what love oh, is. Oh, Foreigner, I want to know what love is. And uh, you said you want to sing I want to know what love is on the show. Do you think that's going to happen anytime <laughs> soon? No, I don't think it's going to happen. I don't know. I keep telling him. I'm like, hey, come on. Uh. So I'm really good at this one song. I go for karaoke or whatever, but... Uh, I don't think it's gonna. I don't think it's gonna make the jump. There's a song that you'd be surprised to see in one of the scripts. <sighs> I'd have to say it would be "I Want to Know What Love Is" by Foreigner. I oh. think that would be a very good oh, choice. Oh, that's a good song for Finn. Uh, what song would I be surprised to see in the script? That would probably be "I Want to Know What Love Is" by Foreigner. <laughs> I'd be very surprised to be see that in the script. Pleasantly surprised. Pleasantly surprised. Uh, is there any particular artist or song uh, that you haven't performed yet on the show that you'd love to cover in the future? I feel like whenever I answer that question, and uh, it's 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 a, a way of guaranteeing not being able to cover that artist in the future. I feel like it's it's so much better served when I kind of let it be a surprise. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, but you do have a like a secret wish list in the back of your head. You're thinking, oh, I'd love to play this song or or sing this artist. Absolutely, but I can't tell you who it is because it's it's like I have to hope secretly and plant clues sneakily, and hopefully that will precipitate my ability to do these songs on the show.